Engineers are people in charge of building safe and reliable infrastructure, roads, transportation methods, technology, etc. They play a big role in ensuring that almost everything we use in our modern day world does not pose any threat to our safety. In a Renaissance engineering lecture from week 8, we learned about a terrible tragedy called the Black Megantic Train Accident that occurred in the city of Quebec in July of 2013. On this date, a train carrying crude oil derailed from its tracks, which caused barrels of oil to light on fire and caused explosions, which led to numerous fatalities and a lot of damage done towards the environment and infrastructure. In further investigation, it was later discovered that the engineer who was in charge of this train left it unattended overnight and failed to properly ensure that the train's brakes were applied properly. It was also discovered that the train's employees were not trained properly on how to handle the train. The following are a couple of goals I brainstormed so that the future of engineering does not come across any events like these. The main goal I brainstormed was to train engineers to be more reliable and trustworthy when handling projects that have the potential to put people at risk or danger by placing an emphasis on mandatory ethics courses for engineering students throughout their entire educational careers. In these ethics courses, it will be important to appeal to the students in a meaningful way in order for them to truly remember and comprehend the material. I divided my three sub-goals as topics under ethos, logos, and pathos that can be taught in ethics courses nowadays. Ethos, teaching engineering students about credible and famously known engineers, such as the Wright brothers, who invented the world's first functioning flying machine, and all of the ethics and safety measures they followed throughout the process. This will bring awareness to the fact that in order to become a successful engineer, one must follow basic codes of conduct and ethics taught to them in school. Logos, introducing students to real life situations where they are required to apply logic and make use of all the things they have learned in their ethics courses to find a precise and reasonable solution to every problem. This may include activities such as conducting surveys, looking at past year statistics on similar problems, and working with others to get external opinions and thoughts as to how they will approach these given scenarios. Pathos, allowing students the opportunity to shadow engineers and work with them throughout their educational process. This will create a sense of trust between the engineer and the student, since the student will observe the engineer's safety measures while problem solving and cause them to perhaps feel inspired and perform at their best when they enter the work field. This method of pathos will put students in the shoes of engineers. It will allow them to see what the real world of engineering is and how much of an impact good and positive engineers have on people's lives. That concludes my general solution towards creating a better, brighter, and safer community of engineers for future generations. Thank you for listening.